Right, what's up guys? Welcome back to Matt Catches. As you can see, we're on the fishing location again. And uh, it seems like it's just a bit of a misty day today. There's been a bit of rain, a bit of sun, a bit of everything. So uh, I've got all my stuff behind me. And today I've got both my carp rods and I've also brought a little float rod and uh, half a pint of maggots. So we've got the carp rods in. There's normally a few little bits you can see swimming around the edges, some roach, some perch. So uh, I thought we can get the float rod in and just uh, around the edges and uh, see if we can have any out since I've just got a three rod license. And this uh, lake allows three rods. So uh, I thought, why not give it a try? So that's all coming up in today's video. So uh, I'll be back with you when I'm set up. Right guys, so as you can see from behind me, I'm all set up now. I've got uh, my perch rod here, which I'm gonna double up as a float rod. I've got my two rods in front of me uh, landing out on looking at my bed. So just gonna go through what rig I'll be using today. It's gonna be slightly different today than what we've normally been using. So we've still got the PVA bag here, as you can see. Still got the six inch boom, size four wide gape hook on a quick release. With the bait screw on the difference is the bait so normally we've been using a standard 16 uh, mil millimeter krill boilie it's uh, straight out of the bag so we're uh, one of these but today what we're going to be using is uh, let me grab them actually i don't focus back on my face there we go so we've got the 16 mil krill wafters so the difference between the wafters and the bottom bait is uh, the bottom bait will just lie on the floor and it'll basically just sink these wafters are slightly in between a pop-up and a bottom bait so what they'll do is is, is your, hook, your hook will still lie on the bottom but the wafter will just pick up a tiny little bit and say there's a current in the water it'll follow the current and it'll just act like a regular boilie like it isn't even on the hook also when the hook goes to suck uh, when the fish goes to suck up your hook sorry uh, the hook won't feel as heavy because you've got the little bit of buoyancy coming from the wafter so uh, hopefully, because we've had a few runs where they don't hook, they've just been picking up the boilie. Hopefully, fingers crossed, they instead of just picking up the boilie this time, because this has a little bit of buoyancy, it'll take the hook and everything else up with it. So um, we hook the fish. So we're uh, equaling more fish. So uh, all we can do is try. So uh, I'm going to get both my rods casted in now, and uh, I'll be back with you. Right guys, so I've got a fish, so these wafters are working, I mean it's not the fish I'm after, it's a little uh, bream, yeah it's not, it's not a sort of bream though, so uh, I'm going to let him go in a minute, and then I've just made a PVA bag up, and I'm going to um, put that on and cast back out, so I'll be back with you when I've cast it back out. Right guys, so far we've had one little bream on them wafters, so I mean at least we've had something we're not going to blank. So I'm just here, quick Matt Catchy's cake of the week again, with a nice chocolate flapjack, my cup of tea. Beautiful, it's a bit hot, but so I've got this 30p from Home Bargains, so we're going to give it a go. Can't be that bad for 30p. That is a truly wonderful flapjack. I thought it'd be like some processing. It tastes homemade. It's amazing. So, um, yeah, that was Matt Catchy's Cake of the Week. It's a thumbs up for me. I'd give it a 7 out of 10, personally. Not as good as the Angel Cakes, but almost. So, uh, I'm going to get you a time out of the sunset, because that's just going down now. Then uh, we'll get some tea on. Right guys, so it's currently uh, half past seven and it's already pitch black. I can't believe how quick it's gone dark. And it started raining a bit and I'm not sure whether I've heard thunder or a plane. It was either one or the other. So uh, I'm going to get some tea on in a minute. And I hope it's not thunder because we might be stuck out in a thunderstorm. So uh, yeah, I'll keep you posted. Right guys, so I've got a bit of a problem. As you can see, I've got sausages with me. But I put them in at the last moment because uh, I thought, oh, I'll have some for my tea, go on. And then, 
I forgot to add my Ridge Monkey back in because I took it out because I didn't think I was taking these. So I've got to try and cook sausages in this. This is not non-stick. So I don't know how it's going to go. So uh, I'll keep you posted. Hopefully the coop because I want a sausage butty, but I mean, uh, try our best. Right guys, so we're just about kicking the burning a bit. This one's turning into a bit of a chode. But um, yeah, it's a bit of oil there. So should be, they should cook. It's going to be a nightmare cooking my beans in the morning. I don't know whether the burn's going to come off or not. So uh, yeah, that'll be fun to find out. Oh, guys, uh, quick update. There's a lot of burn in the pan. Look how much oil's come out of them sausages. That's all fat that is. Jesus, I didn't realize they were that fat. Hey eh? ho, I'm gonna split them in half and give them a sizzle in the middle. I'm gonna have myself uh, some sausage butties, I think. Also, guys, as you can see, I forgot to bring a plate as well, so we're eating off the tin foil. Uh, we make do around here. It's rough here, uh, hard times fishing. So, uh, I've also got a bag of cheese and onion crisps. Uh, not the potatoes this time, gone with some cheese and onion, because why not? And we've got the tomato ketchup as well. So uh, we're going to eat these, and then we're going to fling a bit more bait in. Hopefully, hopefully, we can have a fish out. So I'll be back with you then. All right, guys, so I have my sausage body, and I've tried cleaning my pan. That water is a bit dirty. But uh, I spent about 15 minutes with a wet wipe, trying to clean the inside of that, and that won't come off. I've boiled some water in it, wiped it again, and uh, yeah, it's going for a third time boiling it, but I think I might just cook some uh, super noodles, to be honest. So, um... Yeah, don't cook sausages in your pan if you want to keep it clean. Make sure you get a non-stick one. It's a lesson we've learned here. So, uh, yeah. I was cooking my super noodles, and there was this bug flying around, and uh, it flew straight into the noodles, and needless to say, it didn't last very long, so there he is on my fork. Just thought I'd let you know. So I was just uh, cooking my noodles, and uh, yeah, my left rod screamed off, so I ran for it, and uh, there was nothing on. But, see this leg clip with the light on? That was at the top of my lead leader, uh, about here, and it had just got stopped by that knot there. So I don't exactly know how that happened, but I presume that's how I lost the fish. Because when I struck, the lead wasn't weighing it down, the lead just came with the line, so the fish didn't actually get any tension put on, so the hook didn't dig in. So, I'm going to get another PVA bag made up, cast that in, and throw some more bait in. But it's a good sign, we've had one bream, and uh, we've lost one already, so at least we know the fish are active. So hopefully we might have a couple in the night. Right, what's up guys it's currently uh, half past 11 again uh, getting going bed at this half past 11 you know uh, we've had a couple of runs tonight uh, i lost one we've had one bream then we've had a couple of pickups but they've all been on the left hand side rod we haven't had any on the right the right's been dead so um i don't know what's up with that so i've just flung some more bait in i've done that about four times now so we're uh, just gonna go bed and hopefully we can have a big carp out tonight we had a tiddler last session we want a big one out now so uh, i'll see you in the morning hopefully not hopefully we have a fish but uh, see you soon right guys it's currently half past 12 in the morning and uh, sorry about this charging cable I've got my head torch on charge but it's not fully charged so i've got a massive mirror i, don't know what I was thinking fox I've got a massive mirror in the net like right now so we're going to get it out and take a look at it Hopefully, fingers crossed, it's the big mirror, but I don't think it is, but it's still quite a chunky fish. So uh, we'll get it out, give it away, put some uh, antiseptic on it, and uh, see what fish it is. Right, guys. This fish is 18 pound 10, even though it looks much, much bigger. Bearing in mind it is a short, stubby little fish. It's got a massive mouth on it. And there we go. I'm just putting some... Uh, antiseptic where the hook's been just to help its mouth heal up and not leave any scars <sighs> right guys take a look at that beauty of a fish short stubby little mirror look at the size of its dorsal fin runs a full length of its body that is an amazing fish one of the true true treasures out of this lake i think he's one of the originals but i'm not 100 percent sure i imagine he is by the size of him it does seem like he weighs a bit more than 18 pound 10, but that's some NGT scales for you. So I'm going to get a photo with him and I'll put him back. Right guys, morning. As you can see from behind me, it's still raining. It's been raining since uh, about 8 o'clock last night. It's been non-stop. 
I mean, it stopped when we had the, the fish out, but uh, it was only for about five minutes and then it uh, started raining again. Uh, I hope you saw that fish. Uh, it was an amazing mirror, 18 pound 10. That's the biggest fish we've had out of here so far. And uh, it's true, it was truly, truly a nice fish. Um, I think the biggest fish in here is a 26 pound mini mirror. Uh, it might be a linear actually. So, I was, I was happy, I was thinking oh, it might be him, but uh, no it wasn't. Just an interesting thing about when he when I caught his, I've got my I'm fishing right out in front of me, behind me, but when I got to my rod, it had just gone beep, beep, beep. So I was standing by my rod, because I, I hadn't taken it, it was just a few beeps. And I looked at the end of my rod, and it was bent. So imagine that's a parallel with the two rods, it was bent like that, and it was just staying there. So there's a lot of tension on it. It just wasn't pulling line. So it had moved from in front of me all the way to the side to uh, just about there, just out from them trees. So uh, without setting my alarm, so I don't know what, what's happened there. But uh, I mean, we caught it, so uh, that's the main thing. Uh, so yeah, I think I'm just going to get some breakfast on. And then uh, there's still time for another fish, so you never know. Right, welcome to the inside of my brolly. I've got my breakfast here, I've got some uh, lovely beans and sausage. And uh, I'm just waiting for it to start rain, basically. And uh, it seems to be stopping a bit now. It's a bit misty, just because I'm under all the trees. Every time the wind blows, I get absolutely soaked. So uh, yeah, that's basically it. So I'm gonna eat my breakfast and uh, I'll speak to you again in a minute, guys. Right, guys, I've been watching the water and there's been a couple of fish I've seen jump out the water and splash. And uh, it means the feeding on the bottom. And when they rush up to the surface, they're trying to get water to go through the gills and to clean the dirt out of the gills. So uh, it brings me on to last night when I was fishing. I heard about five fish jump right in front of my swim. They sounded like they were anywhere across there. So uh, all I can presume is we're feeding on the bottom, possibly on my bait. Uh, they were getting the dirt in the gills and then they're rushing up to the surface of the water and jumping out because the water rushes through the gills and it cleans them. So that's probably how we had ours, uh, the fish that we had last night. That could have even been one that was jumping because it was feeding on the bottom. So uh, I just thought I'd give you that quick bit of information. Right guys, it's currently, I'd say 10 past 11 now. And uh, sadly, I've got to start packing up and head off home because I've got work later on today. If only it wasn't for work, I could stop and do another night. because It's been a wonderful session so far. We've had that amazing mirror. That was blowing my mind how amazing that fish was. And it was, it was a decent size. 18 pound 10 is a nice size fish. So uh, that really made the session. Especially not having caught uh, few, many big fish in the last few sessions. So uh, that really made the trip. So, fortunately, this is it. It's Matt Catches signing out. And I'll see you in the next video.